What is D365 and how does it differ from previous versions of Microsoft Dynamics? D365, or Microsoft Dynamics 365, is a cloud-based business application platform that integrates various modules and functionalities. It differs from previous versions by offering a unified and modular approach, allowing organizations to select and customize specific components based on their needs. What are the different development approaches in D365 and when would you use each one? D365 offers different development approaches such as model-driven development and code-based development. Model-driven development is suitable for rapid customization using a graphical interface, while code-based development provides more flexibility for complex business logic and integrations. Can you explain the concept of solution in D365 and its significance in customization and development? In D365, a solution is a container for organizing and managing customizations. It includes components like entities, forms, workflows, and more. Solutions allow developers to package and deploy their customizations across environments, making it easier to manage and maintain the application. How do you create a new entity in D365 and what are the key components involved? To create a new entity in D365, you can use the Power Apps or Power Platform tools. Key components involved in entity creation include defining attributes, relationships, forms, views, and security roles for the entity. What is the purpose of security roles and how do you manage them in D365? Security roles in D365 define the permissions and access levels for users. They control the data and functionality that users can access. Security roles can be managed through the security roles configuration in D365, where you can assign privileges to roles and assign roles to users. How do you create and customize forms in D365 and what are some common form customization options? Forms in D365 are created and customized using the form designer. You can add or remove fields, modify field properties, rearrange the layout, and apply form-level business rules. Common form customization options include adding custom fields, implementing field validation, and configuring form sections and tabs. Can you explain the concept of workflows in D365 and how they can be used for automation? Workflows in D365 automate business processes by defining a series of steps and actions. They can be used for tasks such as approvals, notifications, and data updates. Workflows can be configured to trigger based on specific conditions and can involve multiple users or teams in a sequential or parallel manner. How do you write custom code in D365 using JavaScript and what are some common scenarios where it is used? Custom code in D365 is written using JavaScript and can be used to extend the functionality of forms, automate processes, and interact with the D365 data model. Common scenarios for using custom code include field validations, calculations, and form customizations. What is the purpose of plugins in D365 and how do you create and register a plugin? Plugins in D365 are used to customize and extend the system's functionality by responding to events or executing custom business logic. To create a plugin, you need to develop it in .NET using the D365 SDK and register it in the plugin registration tool, specifying the triggering event and the associated entity. How do you integrate external systems or services with D365? External system integration with D365 can be achieved using various methods such as web services, custom connectors, or third-party integration tools. D365 provides APIs and tools to facilitate data exchange and communication between different systems, allowing seamless integration and data synchronization. Can you explain the concept of web resources in D365 and how they can be used in customizations? 
Web resources in D365 are files that can be used to store code, images, HTML, or other content. They can be referenced in customizations to enhance the functionality of forms, views, or scripts. What are data maps in D365 and how are they used in data migration? Data maps in D365 define the mapping between source and target fields during data migration. They facilitate the transformation and transfer of data from legacy systems to D365, ensuring accuracy and consistency. How do you perform data import and export operations in D365? Data import and export in D365 can be done using the data management module. It provides a user-friendly interface to map and transfer data between D365 and external systems supporting various file formats and data sources. Can you explain the concept of solution deployment and version management in D365? In D365, solutions are packages that contain customizations, configurations, and data. They can be deployed across environments to transfer changes. Version management ensures proper tracking and control of solution changes. How do you troubleshoot and debug issues in D365? To troubleshoot and debug issues in D365, you can use tools like tracing, debugging tools, and logs. Tracing provides detailed logs of system activities, while debugging tools help identify and resolve code-related issues. What are some best practices for performance optimization in D365 development? Some best practices for performance optimization in D365 development include minimizing database calls, caching frequently accessed data, optimizing queries, and using asynchronous processing for long-running operations. How do you handle customizations and code upgrades during D365 platform updates? When handling customizations and code upgrades during D365 platform updates, it is important to thoroughly test the changes in a development or sandbox environment, document the customization changes, and follow a structured deployment process to ensure smooth transitions and minimize any impact on existing functionality. Can you explain the concept of virtual entities in D365 and how they can be used to integrate external data sources? Virtual entities in D365 are a way to integrate external data sources by creating a virtual representation of the data within the platform. It allows users to interact with external data as if it were native to D365, enabling seamless integration and access to information from various sources without the need for data replication. How do you create and customize business processes in D365? To create and customize business processes in D365, you can use the built-in process designer tool. It allows you to define stages, steps, and actions within a process flow, configure business rules, set conditions and triggers, and map the process to relevant entities or records. What are some common integration patterns and technologies used with D365? Some common integration patterns and technologies used with D365 include RESTful APIs, message-based integration using tools like Azure Service Bus or Azure Logic Apps, and data integration through connectors or middleware such as Microsoft Power Automate or Azure Data Factory. How do you implement and customize business rules in D365? Business rules in D365 can be implemented and customized using the Business Rule Designer tool. This allows you to define logical conditions and actions that determine the behavior of your application. Can you explain the concept of data validation and how it is implemented in D365? Data validation in D365 ensures the accuracy and integrity of data. It can be implemented using field validations, form-level validations, or through custom JavaScript code to perform complex validations based on specific business rules. 
How do you create and customize reports in D365 using the built-in reporting tools? D365 provides built-in reporting tools such as Power BI and SQL Server Reporting Services, SSRS, to create and customize reports. You can design and format reports, add data visualizations, and customize parameters and filters to meet your reporting needs. What are some security considerations and best practices for D365 development? Some security considerations for D365 development include implementing role-based security, encrypting sensitive data, and regularly applying security updates. Best practices also involve restricting access to production environments and following least privilege principles. How do you stay up to date with the latest features and updates in D365? To stay up to date with the latest features and updates in D365, I actively participate in online communities and forums, attend webinars and conferences, and regularly review Microsoft's official documentation and release notes. Why is it worth subscribing to our YouTube channel? Our YouTube channel provides valuable and informative content on a variety of topics, including expert interview questions and answers that can help viewers prepare for job interviews and improve their skills in various industries.